Is that okay? Oh. Good evening, and welcome to Go Beyond. I'm your host, Jordana Foster. As a motivational speaker, trainer, and mindset coach, I help individuals, organizations, and businesses to go beyond their limiting beliefs, to get out of their own way, and to achieve their personal and professional goals. If you're not getting the results that you want in your life or business, I can help. Contact me at readysetgobeyond at gmail.com or like and message me on my Facebook at Ready, Set, Go Beyond. And I can't believe it's already December, the last month of the year. And I'm going to be having workshops and online seminars and masterminds, so check out my Facebook page if you want to take you and your team to the next level. So I'm so excited to welcome my awesome guests here tonight, Rolly Rodriguez and Bert Bornstein from the Pink Collective Ad Agency. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they're not only my special guests here tonight, but they're also the Go Beyond sponsor, and I'm thrilled to have them. So just a little background information. You know, we ha we're having a series here about branding and storytelling with Pink Collective, and this is our second in a series. So if you haven't checked out the first one and didn't catch it live, go back on Ready, Set, Go Beyond and check it out because there's a lot of helpful tips and, and information that's going to really propel your business, and you're going to want to call these guys and have them you know, take a look at your business and see how they can rebrand you or, you know, just take you to that next level. So just a little background, Rolly and I met it several years ago at an ad agency, and he's always been extremely talented and creative, and we connected right away, and he always has thought outside the box, right, Bert? Yes. <laughs> so it's really no surprise that Rolly created this amazing ad agency and um, that's what we're here to talk to tonight. So once again, please welcome Rolly Rodriguez, CEO and founder of Pink Collective, and Bert Bornstein, brand strategist of Pink Collective. I'm so excited to have you both here tonight. Delighted to be here. Thank you. Glad <laughs> to be back. Fabulous. So we're going to, you know, again, I told you we already had the first part of the series, which was so amazing. And, and a lot on the last show, we talked a little bit about storytelling. And I really think that it's a very important message because it's such a huge focus with you and how you handle your clients. Mm -hmm. So I would love for you guys to go into a little more detail and delve into why storytelling is so important because I, you know, I don't think of a lot of people get it. I don't think they really know what the impact is about mm -hmm. the stories and the messages and the connections. So. Please tell us, because I know with Pink Collective, that is a huge emphasis for you, and that's another thing that makes Pink Collective different from just any other ad agency that's out there. So why don't you tell us? I'd love to hear. So yeah, on my, on my way over here, um, <laughs> I was kind of going over the different definitions of storytelling, because, I mean, we hear storytelling ad nauseum at this point. Uh, sure. It's become a thing now, especially with social media. Uh, so many companies out there preaching about storytelling and, and branding and how they do storytelling so well. So, one of the things that kind of I was thinking about is I was like, how can I do? How can I explain storytelling in a simple form that people would really get it? So, I thought about my my kids and my nieces. So I have two boys. I have a seven and I have an eleven year old. Right. And then I have my nieces, relatively the same age. So, when I come home from work, uh, I'll ask them. So, you know, how was your day? And so their answer is typically good. One word. Good. <laughs> right. It was good. Typical. Just like that, good. <laughs> but now my nieces, when you say, you know, how was your day, it starts, well, first, I started here. And then all of a sudden, I'm in a 10, 15-minute conversation, and it's like I could feel everything that they went through in that day. Right. And so that is truly what the art of storytelling is. So imagine if those two were a brand, and they both did the same thing, 
the the fact that one simply just says good, right. if you thought like a commodity, they, they would be just talking about service versus pulling you into their store. And, what and giving a fantastic you the comparison. Where you can feel and, and, and really engage in what their day was like. And so that's the, really the battles that we deal with. So really is discovering, getting into these deep dive sessions that we do with these companies to really understand what they're about. And, and so that is where the, the, the essence of the story begins. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and really, I mean, once you tap into all the strong brands these days, like, you know, one of them, like Publix. Right. So if you take Publix, for instance, uh, especially with all these different other competitors in the marketplace, how is Publix still competing at the level that they're competing? And so the magic of Publix is really the story. Right. Every time you see a commercial, it's a jingle, whatever you hear, a radio, whatever message they're always putting out there, they're always pulling you in into that human that, that connection. connection. So it really matches with what they do and what they're about. So when you go visit a Publix, you really get that experience. And so every time you interact with any of their marketing messages, that's what you get. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes you different. And Bert, it's the emotional attachment. How, like Rolly was saying, that engagement, it's not just... You know, I was a copy director, I'm a writer, so it's not just about words, although I think words are very compelling, yeah. and it's not just about visual, although from an <laughs> art direction Absolutely. standpoint, but how, how come that is such a powerful tool? Why is it that that resonates with people from a branding standpoint? Well, I, I think what Rolly and I, w w we come from the outside looking in pretty much with everyone. So we, we can be part of anyone's world, but we're really not part of anyone's world. Mm -hmm. So we're purposefully disruptive. We're intentionally <laughs> disruptive. Because I like that. We, because we look, at, we look at a person as a brand, mm -hmm. and we, we recognize that a person's story is what really separates them. So if we can capture their essence in a different way, we can we reframe them, then all of a sudden there it's people start to connect with who they are first and then it, it opens them up into their story which really is their difference maker mm. it's really it, it to, to them to us it's the story is what separates people from each other and so they become emotionally sort of involved with their story there's a connection there so we often will say are you trying to impress people or are you trying to relate to people and so there's a wow. we're, we're constantly looking of trying to figure out where can they be disruptive in yeah. them in their space and and yet remain really authentically themselves most of the time if you take a picture for example and you change the frame on a picture mm -hmm. that picture has a completely different experience depending upon the frame you put around it right so we frame people differently and then they look at themselves and they begin to see themselves very differently and then as a result they start to sort of embrace that and they begin to project that they begin to set different levels of expectation they begin to create different kinds of anticipation they we look at we look at and we ask them okay here's your story who are the characters that they're going to talk tell your story and they'll look at us like well we're not we're not creating a film here <laughs> <laughs> right which, well, is, which is a good point but it brings we, up but we are we're right. cre we're looking at what are the cast of characters who's the leading cast of characters in your story mm -hmm. what are they and they people don't think that way about no. themselves but it's a but you you guys orchestrate it very beautifully. I mean, I've seen if anybody goes to tell them your website. Thepinkcollective.com. Because they have, perfect, <laughs> because <laughs> they have their before and afters, what I call their pink stories, which are their success stories from their clients. And they do show, you know, how they're, the transformation of how their clients have evolved. And, and we're going to go dig further into that later on in the show. But I do think it's very interesting because when people think about ad agencies or ex actually my experience with them and so many others is that a lot of it is on the surface. Mm -hmm. And so you guys ask the hard questions. You actually get right. down and dirty right. to make sure that you're digging deeper to get to the core message to see what they really are because everybody does what everyone else does. You know, there are tons of doctors and lawyers and business owners. What makes them different? And that's what you guys do is that's through that storytelling and that message and that so that's phenomenal. So that is one of the things, one of the many things. But, and I think, you know, the, the, one of the challenging parts, I think that is, because 
see, there's no package for what we do. There's yeah. no, because we always get that. It's like, oh, what, what's the charge? You know, is there a package A, B, and C? Right. Um, but for us, it's really a journey because once we get into the process of right. storytelling, uh, which really, like, one of the biggest things that people want to know, okay, so how do we get to this And building? I was going to oh, ask sorry. you, yeah, yeah, no, perfectly. You, uh, I, you I, read into this. You. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I see, that's why we work right. together so well. So how does a company, you know, there's so many businesses that are looking to either establish their brand if they don't already have one, right. or they've been in business a while and they need to refine it or rework it or recreate it. So how does a company get started with you? What does that look like? Well, the first thing we want to make sure is that we want to have our initial conversation. Okay. And that initial conversation is just really determine are we the right fit for you and mm -hmm. are we going to work well together? Um, so once everything's been kind of outlined as far as kind of deliverables and budget, then what we what we start with is a discovery. Right. So most agencies do this. This is part of the, of, of, of the routine, but we want to make sure that when we're done with that, Discovery and that discovery session could be four, eight hours, twelve hours. So we want to make sure that when we leave that session, that we've really tapped into the essence of what we're trying to achieve, which will ultimately build out that story. Wonderful. Well, from that comes the plot of the story, right? There, it comes the storyline. We begin to identify the cast of characters. We go through this. We start to put together what's that experience going to look like. What are the scenes? Word experience. Yeah. I like so, that. So from That's so important because right? it's not about selling. Right. It's about <clears throat> what you're leaving right. that person feeling. It's an experience right? that people like want a relationship with. Okay. So that with, it's that experience. It's a, it's both visual and it's audible. Mm -hmm. How's it sound? How's it feel? What's it look like? And so the the art side of it is are the scenes. We'll we'll create the copy, the scripts create the character Set design <laughs> exactly what, right? exactly what does that scene look like right. well, that's the art direction so fantastic no that's just there's so many components that you guys offer you know it's it, it when you think about the copywriting and the mm -hmm. art direction and the produce production mm -hmm. and the direction all of the components all the media platforms that you offer but it is really um a creation it that is. you are putting and, and it's together. All, it's all meaningless without without having that right story because right, right. you know now it, you know, social media is big. So social media, it's every, huge. Everybody, everybody wants to be on social media. Wonderful. And, and, and they just want to put any content out there. Well, it's and, fast. They're just it's just that immediate and and that doesn't allow for the connection. It doesn't allow for that authenticity, which I know is a, a big word for both of you for your clients because right. you want to get to the core message of what they who they are. And are. what they represent. And they, they have to own that. They have to really believe in it. Right. They have to really own Which it. Is, so. Yeah, right. That's the, see, And that is the hardest work right there. So it's like creating that essence. Right. That you can then, you know, br uh, play back to them. Play back to them where they're going to be like, you know what? That is us. That's who Interesting. we are. Interesting. That's who we are. And, and then so a lot of times when that happens, it gets emotional. People right. People cry, uh, <laughs> whether it's good or bad. Uh, <laughs> No, for mostly sure. Good, no, mostly you, good. It's a good cry. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think in a few minutes we're going to go with your commercial. Um, again, yes. it's going to be Pink Collective. How do they reach you? Uh, Thepinkcollective.com. And your phone number, which is on the screen, but for people on the radio? 954-241-1400. <laughs> and you can have your discovery session with them. We're going to be running The Pink Collective, and who is our sponsor on the show as well. And also the Cirque Hotel, which is another amazing sponsor of ours. And we will be back with a um, pink success story and one of their clients. So we can't wait to share that with you and be back here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. Every human is a brand. Every brand has a story. What's your story? Discover your story at thepinkcollective.com.
Cirque Hotel is one of the newest and most exciting boutique hotels in downtown Hollywood, Florida. Cirque Hotel at Hollywood's Young Circle is the ideal getaway to this relaxed, vibrant, and beautiful beachfront community conveniently tucked between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Just minutes from Hollywood Beach and Hollywood Broadway. This stunning 111-room modern boutique hotel operated by Trust Hospitality was designed with a contemporary flair and inspired by the area's blossoming art scene. The long-awaited 12-story Cirque Hotel features Olivia, an authentic Italian restaurant by well-known South Florida restaurateur Piero Filpi and Marcel. Marcello Sindani. Olivia is elegant and incorporates the highest quality ingredients, yet maintains an atmosphere that's fun and hip, a perfect reflection of Cirque Hotel. Olivia includes the cellar with more than 900 bottles of wine, a fresh mozzarella bar, warm, friendly seating, and mouth-watering menu. Cirque offers a high-energy bar and lounge area and private dining and event spaces. The Muse, a chic and sexy rooftop bar and lounge on the 11th floor of Pool Tech, offers specialty craft portions and elixirs, an Italian-influenced menu, and live music from local artists. Presto Market and Coffee House features handcrafted coffee drinks and fresh grab-and-go wraps, sandwiches and salads. There's a state-of-the-art fitness center and 3,000 square feet of flexible meeting space on the 11th floor. Each of Cirque Hotel's well-appointed rooms and suites include a seating area, wet bar, 55-inch television, and luxury bath with rain shower and upscale amenities. Many feature balconies offering picturesque South Florida views. Cirque Hotel is the ultimate haven for business professionals, vacationers, and social groups who enjoy a cultural atmosphere and are looking to indulge, relax, and unwind. The uniquely branded Cirque Hotel sets a new standard for dining and entertainment in the heart of downtown Hollywood. Come, indulge, relax, and experience the Cirque Hotel. You've been listening to Go Beyond. If you want to be part of the show as a guest, highlighting your business, or you would like more information about the content of the show, email me at readysetgobeyond at gmail.com or share your thoughts and call me at 888-565-1470. Okay. Here we oh, no. Where's your pink collected, though? Where's the pink? Hi guys, <laughs> we're here with Mary and Karen Denunzio from Denunzio Interior Design and here, so you can scoot up so we can see you, there we go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Rolly, we're, so we're talking about branding and storytelling and last month we had Caddy Can on, bring this down, Caddy last, can. we had Caddy Can on and that was amazing because of the transformation that you did with his logo and his name and that came from that discovery session that we were talking about that is such a crucial part of it so part of this series of your client pink stories, pink stories. and success stories at pink we wanted to really delve further um, you handle corporate accounts you handle mom and pop accounts so this is a fantastic story and I would love to go into it with you because um, we have Mary and Karen here from Denunzio Interior Designs. Welcome ladies. Thank Great you. to have you. They're Thanks. fabulous. You. And I wanted to ask you, um, how did you get started with Pink Collective and what were you trying to improve with your brand? And uh, please share with everybody because we'd really love to know and then you guys can chime in because mm -hmm. I want to know as well. So we got started with Pink and his team. Um, actually, we met Rolly through the Chamber of Commerce. We were doing a Leadership Hollywood class, and we just connected, and we, you know, we had wanted to maybe rebrand, and we thought about it, but we didn't know how to go about it, and um, we just got into a conversation, and we met, and we started to talk, and one thing led to another, and we were hooked. So that's step number one, conversation. Yes, yes <laughs> conversation. There you go. Right? Yeah. So we were hoping to, what we were hoping to achieve was to, um, well, to rebrand. We've been working with a lot of older um, ways, and our company just, we just needed to, to get it well, into Well, different state, new, too. Yeah. You're in a different state, different so, location. So you knew that there was something that, um, that you wanted to fix? Well, yeah, we, we were, um, the company had started over 25 years ago at, okay. from, from Michigan. And um, and then I had moved down here and worked with started to work with Karen, my sister, my partner, and we were working off of a lot of older um, older ways and older demographics, older 
uh, products and services, and we just needed to work in this market, and we, it wasn't working the way we had. So it. I think one of the one of the amazing things with them is that, so we besides rebranding them, I think one of the biggest things that so they were coming together as a company now because you know Mary was used to working on her own, had her business right in Michigan. So one of the things that we actually ended up doing too was to develop a manifesto to really get them to. I guess visualize that, that relationship together and I think that after creating that and again that's something that was discovered through our discovery with them sitting there with them listening to them which is key is listening not just you know giving them what we think they should do not so, talking not talk, to them not or talking at them, to them but actually right. listening right. But, and it was okay. it was hard it was that. yeah. that's that transformation <laughs> right. that we keep talking about yeah. interesting yeah there's a lot of things that we can't share on the air but a lot of things went on <laughs> well uh, I mean I always like to say that the discovery was like like group therapy it was, it was. Was really, Which is, yes it was a it was a great day there were posters we, we posters. both Bert, you were there writing everything that we were saying and <laughs> laughing and crying it was great because it was a very cathartic thing for us because we both came to the table from different right. avenues i yes. had a bit of a corporate background, but I also had some design experience, and but in a different realm. And then, of course, we were sisters, so that's a whole other dynamic. So yeah. to just bring sure. that to the table, <laughs> and um, I think one of the best things that come out out of it was the name change. Yes. So yes. what was the name before? It was um, Details in Design by Mary Kay, and then we had um, changed it to Details in Design. And it just wasn't saying who we were. Interesting. And it was, it, I mean, now it, now it says who we are. And you're lo not only does it say who you are, because you guys have to go on the Pink Collective website. Their story is on there, but their logo is stunning. So now they're and it is so catchy. Denunzio interior design. Denunzio interior design. Not interior design. No. And that doesn't say no. And it's very it's very impactful. So great. And you have to do that with your fingers. Denunzio interior design. So that's the magic, right? So like, I want my house or my office space designed by Denunzio. Right. Right. Versus details and design. But it was great that you kind of came together. And, you know, it wasn't just a quick fix. It was, you know, really digging. And like you said, it wasn't easy. But think, the good stuff yeah. isn't always easy. And the funny part is I don't even think that they were expecting for that journey to right. happen. Yeah. We just kept peeling back the layers. Yes. And, yeah. yes. and what emerged was two very different characters that were very complementary. But they're very different, and it, it came out in your, in your, in your final essence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? What the final essence of... Yeah. Right, so I mean, so, so they're I actually brought it with me because I, you know, I thought it was, these are one of the great ones. So it, it so their uh, brand essence was elevating your sense of space for greater purpose and pleasure. So this is an internal dialogue nice. between them. So this essence is what br what really breathes life into the entire brand. All the marketing efforts, everything that they do, all the messaging, uh, it's pivotal. Uh, that they always come back to this. Wonderful. Eight, eight hours was distilled into that one statement. Right. That's amazing. Right? No. And no. It, everything exploded from that. Now you you handle interior design for commercial and residential. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted yes. to let people know it's commercial and residential interior design. How can they reach you if they want to get more information about Denunzio Interior Denunzio. Design? Denunzio. 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 Denunzio interior design dot com. It's D E N U N Z I O interiordesign.com or 305-458-6251. And can they call you for a consultation? Sure. Okay. I'd love that. So call for a consultation. <laughs> it's really great. Um, they're very talented and they're wonderful and how you guys work together. I know you personally aside from just and uh, you're in really good hands, just like you are with Rolly and Bert. So this is just an amazing uh, collaborative effort and I love to see what has happened and how you're growing um, not just the corporate businesses but the smaller businesses that right. really need you know they knew that they needed they were you know a lot of people have the antiquated ways with the old pictures and the old name and the old but a lot of people don't know what to do next and and you guys have the tools and the the know-how but you you take things a step further and that's pretty great and, and one of the one of the great things that I got to experience myself and it's really why I do what I do and why I'm passionate about this industry is that um, so as they mentioned I met them in the Chamber of 
uh, of Hollywood. Right. And um, when I first heard them introduce themselves, <laughs> it was very commodity driven. It was very about service, and we do this, and we right. do X, and we do Y. So they, although they were ama amazing still, but it was what it lacked was that 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 real passion that they actually have. Right. So after we went through the whole rebrand we did everything and they did a whole rep, uh, presentation again that I, I was actually there I mean I literally cried I, I like a tear <laughs> ran down my face because I heard proud. them I was so proud oh. because to hear them speak I was like oh my god I want to hire them <laughs> amazing well job well done <laughs> fantastic no I know so um, once again how can they reach you with Rolly and Bert from Pink Collective the pinkcollective.com Okay, and your phone or number? 954-241-1400. Mm -hmm. And that's for branding, storytelling. Let them help you with your image to get your business up and running. It's the New, new Year's steadily approaching, and you want to make sure that your brand is what you want it to be. And it's saying and telling the stories, and it conveys that message. And for you yes. guys with Denunzio Designs? Thank you. How do you, Karen and Mary, thank you so much for being here. What's your website again? So that's Denunzio Interior Design, and it's D-E-N-U-N-Z-I-O. <laughs> and the phone number is 305-458-6211. I have a quick quote. First of all, I want to thank you all for being here, for being my guest and thank sponsor. You. Lovely having you. The quote is, we are all storytellers. We live in a network of stories. There isn't a stronger connection between people than storytelling. I'm Jordana Foster with Go Beyond. I want to thank all of you for joining us here tonight. To catch us here next time, next week on Tuesday, and catch us here next month for more on our next series with The Pink Collective with Rolly and Burt. Thank right. you so much. I hope you have a fabulous <laughs> evening. Take care. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>